Hi, I'm Candy Hall. I'm the designer at French Candy. We're based in Los Angeles, California. In 2009, I was on a vacation with my husband and we were in France. I love France. I like everything about it, the architecture, the fashion. So I was at a, a flea market one day while in France and I uh, was walking down a very narrow aisle and literally sticking out in the aisle was a little table with a cardboard box on it. And in the box, I started pushing around these medallions inside. They were kind of rusty and dirty, and but I picked up a couple and they had beautiful European art, like coats of arms or a lion or what have you, and I loved them. So I brought home about 15 of them, thinking I might give them away as souvenirs. I put them in a drawer and I forgot about them. A couple months later, I took them out, I cleaned them up, and I put them on some pearls that I owned that my mom had given me, and a couple of chains, and I wore them to a business meeting for our, uh, our design agency, our branding agency. And at this meeting, a woman asked me about them. She said, like, Candy, what are those necklaces you have on? And so I was able to tell her a little bit about the uh, fact that they were like business promos given away during the 1960s in France, because I'd done some research. Anyway, she was like, oh great, I, you know, I love them. And, the very next day, she asked me if she could buy one, and that was the beginning of French Candy. The company, French Candy, we're based in Los Angeles, where I live, and every day we're here, we're casting, we're plating, we're making linkage from you know scratch. We use only semi-precious stones, real pearls. We dip everything in sterling silver or in brass. We turn it black with an oxidization process and we hand rub it out. It's a very artisanal level uh, piece of jewelry that we create here. Um, I'm pretty opinionated when it comes to design. I love feminine things, but I also like it to have an edge. I feel very comfortable in that area and I know a lot of my customers, a lot of the women who buy French candy feel the same way. I think that it's really important to um, be able to buy something and wear it in multiple ways. Sometimes um, when I do a 34, 38 inch length, it's because you can wear it doubled and, and long. I also love like layering different pieces together, whether it's three, four pieces, I make sure that when I'm doing a new collection that you've got some 28 inch, you've got some 17, you've got 32, you've got 42. Here's a, a good example of different layering with uh, different stones also, although these are all sandblasted Labradorite. Um, you can see the variety of look from a 17 inch um, 10 millimeter to a 28 inch 10 millimeter. Here's some beautiful little rondelle nuggets and then we're even into an eight uh, millimeter linkage. Of course, these are all made in house here at French Candy in Los Angeles. Okay, I just wanted to show you how cute uh, layering up our jewelry can be. Here's like one of my new bracelets from summer. There we go. Here we go. This might be more than the average woman would wear it, but I actually do wear a lot of them all at once because I kind of love it and can get away with it, I guess. Anyway, I just really um, uh, love layering and it's really, it's really uh, got a lot of uh, value right now. It's very fashionable. So for about 20 years, my husband and I owned a PR and marketing agency here in Los Angeles. And what that taught me was the value of a brand. And French Candy is a brand. You know, every piece of the jewelry has the French Candy name on it at least once, if not more. And what that says to you is that that is an authentic piece of French Candy and it does come with lifetime guarantees. And I just wanted to go over some of the fine points of the medallions that are very romantic and they each come with a romance card explaining their background. Um, I've always selected them also on things that I know women love. This is a winery and it has the town that it was located in and the name of the company. This was given away by a coffee roasting business in the town of, or in the region of Bayonne. This is uh, Lady Liberty. She was um, used by a very famous insurance company to promote themselves. And then Port Avion is the last piece, which was very important during the British D-Day uh, landing in 1944. Also, I wanted to make a mention that we do have a French candy pouch that comes with each piece. It's an anti-tarnish pouch, and we also have a care card. I put my heart and soul into every piece that I design. And I take my job very seriously, but at the end of the day, really all I want to do is make women feel more beautiful. I want them to feel empowered when they're at work. I want them to feel great when they're dealing with their children and they're doing you know, parent-teacher conferences or whether they're meeting their husband for dinner one night. 
I want them to look cute, get compliments, and I like the idea that the jewelry is easy and you can count on it. And it always looks good. That's all I'm trying to do.